Hello, and welcome to another video. I'm finally back on Angry Birds Go, and so much has changed. For example, I have a ton of new carts, and they added more carts as well. Uh, they changed the rewards for the tournaments. It looks really nice. Worst part about this update is that... They limited how many daily races there are, or how many times you can do it. Get worse prizes for it, too. Uh, they have uh, luxury toolboxes. I'll show you how they work right now. I was saving up some for this video. Let's see. Hold on. In case you don't know what a normal toolbox does, a normal toolbox just gives you lots of parts. And they seem to be glitched in this update, judging by how many coins I have up here. Um... It, it's really cool. I don't want to update my phone because I love this new glitch. As you can see, it gives us more rarer parts. I think it's nice. So let's look through all the carts. There is a ton. And I've upgraded a lot of mine. So, we obviously have Semi Skimmer. We have Music Maker. A Drum Roller, which I really love. I'm, ju I'm just sad that it's not the best cart now. I don't like how they made... I, I mean, I don't like how they organized everything. Like, with how much CC it has. I think that, depending on each level, uh, all the carts should have the same CC. With maybe, like, a one or two CC difference. But they're all mostly the uh, around the same uh, CC um, uh, capacity, you know, cart capacity, whatever the heck it's called. The, I'm just saying I wish that m the carts, depending on the levels or how many stars they have, would it have the same CC as the other. Uh, we also have the Stai GT. I actually leveled this um, cart up before this new update. Where you could only update a cart, I mean, a level up a cart, like, like once or twice. Um, it didn't change, which really upset me. Oh, here's some of the other ones. We have this, Pinky Tonk, Big Boomer, which I really love, and Iron Bolt. Uh, over here we have, you know, the Ham Glider, we have Sponge Cruiser. I'm really sad that it's the worst cart. It's one of the worst carts, because I really liked this one. We also have the Woodwind and Barrel Roller, which is really sucks. I, I, I mean, like, it's not even funny. We also have Tub Thumper, Crazy Kayak, and Air Guitar. Over here, we have, you know, the Snow Scoop. I'm really sad that this was... The, one of the worst carts too. This cart is actually really, really, really amazing. Compared to this one, it's re it's really good. Come on. Oh. Uh, I I can also get this one right now, but I don't really like. It. I I don't really think I should do it, even though I love it. It's one of my favorite carts in Angry Birds Go. It's not good. At, like not as good as this one so we also have this really bad cart we have this it's not too terribly bad but it's still bad and we have this the arctic roller uh we also have the rocky road cart so you know we have the cool runner we have beach buggy we have capster we have the big burner, which is actually supposed to, this is, I forget what his name is actually. It had a name, and it wasn't the big burner. It's one of my favorite carts as well. Uh, we also have punch box. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, I thought I saw something. R Royal Snout. And we also have Phoenix Star, one of the best carts in the game. And here we, wait, uh, uh. here we have all the, um, stunt carts. We have the Barbequick, Cork Wagon, Matchstick Mobile, 
and Point Breaker. I am very happy that they decided to make Point Breaker the best cards. Or, or at least at this level. Um, oh, we also have the Hog Rod, Rocket Racer, and this one, the Trash Thrasher. This is a really cool cart. I'm not sure why I like it, I just do. That's about it. Let's get into some racing. Uh, no, let's not do that. They also made all these levels much harder. Like, look at that. 230 CC. I'm not going to be able to do that for, like, another year or something. It's going to take forever. Um, you know what? Let's just go into tournament. The gameplay is, like, when you're racing, it's also much smooth. Oh, come on! As I was trying to say, before an ad really rudely interrupted me, uh, Rofio has changed the gameplay. Like, when you're racing, it's much smoother, as you can see. Oh, I didn't notice that. They changed the wheels on this cart. Before, the wheels looked, uh, had, like, rubber spiky things around them, but now it's, they're wood. That's really, that's mean. Uh, anyways, I think, now, not many people would care about this, and I'm not sure that many people would even notice this. Um, I think that Rovio remade this game in a different programming language. You know, the, uh, thing that makes the game work. <laughs> um, I do a lot of pr computer programming, and... To me, I think that they switched to a newer platform. I think before they were using like CRC++ um, or Coca Touch, but now I believe they're either using Objective C or Swift. Although this would be incredibly hard to make in Swift. Anyways, yeah, they're either using one of the two. Um, Gameplay smooth. There, I don't really mind it. I just wish that they wouldn't have changed how the carts worked. I also feel like Angry Birds Go is taking a turn, like in the direction that it's taking a different direction than I originally thought it would, and that kind of upsets me for multiple reasons. I don't want to go get in it, go getting into. Like, when I first started playing Angry Birds Go, so about three or four years ago, whenever that, whenever it first came out, I started playing it, like, two or three months afterwards. Um, I liked it, uh, but it was much different than what we have today. Especially, the biggest difference is probably the upgrading system. Today we have parts, rare parts, and epic parts, or something like that. Before, there was four bars... And you upgraded them by using coins. Now, I will admit, it took a very long time in order to upgrade anything once you, um, like, got up to air or stunt. But it was still a fun challenge. Speaking of challenges, each of the races, um, like, each of the options, besides versus mode and boss mode, would, um... Have little challenges you could do after you compete after you did that activity a few times which i also liked like drift uh 15 times or jump for a total of 50 meters or something like that but sadly they took that out in 2.0 bring back bring back angry birds before 2.0 rovio please if you're, if anyone from Ro Rovio is watching this, please do that. It'd make me very happy, and probably everyone else. I know there's a lot of people when this up 2.0 update first came out. Um, on the App Store, I was looking through reviews, and there were a ton of people that were uh, ticked off about the whole situation. 
I am the biggest reason I'm upset about it is because it it got rid of everything I had done like all my progress and I'd gotten pretty far. Uh, Rovio is just acting kind of stupid. I'm not sure why. Wait, what the heck? Oh. I thought my game had crashed for a second. As you can see, they actually did change the upgrade, the CC system for the cart, so I'm very angry about it. Because, a lot, even though they added, you know, a ton of new carts and they all look really cool, they did one thing that I just can't stand besides deleting my stuff and uh, creating a grip thing. Uh, they made it much harder to race. It's not like a free play kind of thing anymore. It's a line almost where, you know, in order to go to the next race, you have to uh, beat one race, another race first. And I don't like that because before you could do what it, whichever ones you wanted as many times as you wanted, whenever you wanted. It's really upset. It really upset me. Oh, if you didn't see one of my last videos, uh, I my, my Minecraft on my phone actually got deleted, and along with that, it's making me pay for it again. So I'm trying to figure all of that out. So. I'm probably going to have to wait till 0.17 comes out in order to do another survival series. And I actually had a, real, a lot of really cool mods, too, that I had found. One of my favorite ones being a uh, PC GUI mod. Uh, it made it look like... It made the game look like I was playing on PC or Windows 10 Beta Edition of Minecraft. Uh, some others were... On, what were the other ones? I forget which other ones I had. They were cool though. That's what I can remember. Holy cow, I'm going fast. Oh, that was a nice how. Oh. That's that's what you get. Oh, come on! Screw you. I think that's about it. I'm gonna try to pre-record some videos on my phone, because this isn't gonna last very long. Um... So, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, please like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, also like it. And subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And when you do subscribe, go to your settings. Um, only works on de desktop version of YouTube, by the way. Go to uh, settings menu and turn off both of the selected things that... Uh, that, like, keep my subscriptions private, keep my likes private or something like that. Because then I can't see if, I can't see that you have sub subscribed to me. And then that doesn't exactly do much if I want to, like, give a shout out to you or something. Or have my friend Sean give you a shout out, because his channel is bigger than mine. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.